Hello YouTube, I just received this box here from China and hopefully it contains a brand new BT30 spindle that uh, I will use for one of my future projects and I thought that I will make a short little unboxing video of it in case anyone finds it interesting and I'm currently sitting here in the hallway in my student apartment and loaded up the full student apartment tool armada so let's try and see if we can get it up and how it's packed and what what's inside i will lift it up on the desktop later so we can have a close look at it so let's start off with the old bench made knife stated that it that would be shipped in a wooden box and that seemed to be correct There's no nails here, so that's good for me since I don't have a lot of tools here. Feels pretty, pretty well packaged anyways. Here we have, have the screws for, for the wooden box, I think. So what have you here? Well, we got some some bonus stuff here, with some gloves and and I can I can take the camera and show you how it looks inside. In case it's not possible to see for, from this angle. So we got some some gloves here and. This one for cleaning the paper, so that's nice and seems to be very well packaged. So I will take it and I lift it up on, on the desktop and we can have a look look at it there instead. So just a just a minute. So here we have it and I just inspected the surface finish of it and I think it looks very good. The only thing that I can can complain about really is that um, there are some some corrosion I believe it's corrosion here I don't think it's dirt but um, that's pretty much the only thing to complain about when it comes to to the finish of it and it spins super nice feels like it spins about twice as easy as the green BT30 spindle that I have on my little home-built mini mill and I'm very happy with um, that green spindle actually but um, always nice to to try something new so let's take a look inside here and see how it looks 
relatively small small light here which I think will be needed so here we have this type of um, I don't know what it's called but it's like four close I think or three perhaps that will grab the I think it's called a pull stud that is placed on top of the tool holder so this one will grab the tool holder and pull it up in the taper instead of using a drawer bar as I'm using on the green BT, BT 30 spindle so it is make so that you can use this one as an ATC spindle See how easy, how easy it spins. And it does not appear to be that much of dirt inside, but that was pretty much expected. And it might take a while before you, you will see this one on my channel, but well, welcome to subscribe anyways. I got lots of nice projects in the tank. But I um, have to finish some of them first before I can start working on my 5-axis VMC. And um, so I will put this one on the shelf. But if you, if you want to, I can do some, some measuring inside here, but I'm sure it's good. But if anyone wishes uh, that, please comment down below and... I can make a short short video doing some measuring here. I don't have measuring arbor or what it's called where you can put it in and measure here, but you can do, do some measuring here in the taper and, and outside and perhaps mounting a tool holder and doing some, some measurements on a tool that is mounted which um, ain't perhaps a very good indication of how good the spindle is since I use kind of cheap tool holders and they can be can be pretty bad but might gi give an indication anyways so please press thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions and um, yeah Welcome to subscribe if you if you like BT30 spindles. I got a green one also that you can take a look at. Got some videos on that one. So take care and, and see you.